Right, well welcome back to the Avanti build and we are now on to the fuselage and um, it's fairly explanatory. First thing we're going to need is you're going to need these ply uh, fuselage sides and also these strengtheners that uh, go on. Now, little tip, just make sure that you've marked them left and right because you don't want to end up making two right sided fuselages so that's going to get glued onto here like so it's fairly explanatory in the instructions and then the next thing is we've got this um, what is it it's 1.5 millimeter ply supports and then this is the five millimeter square um, square stock which is cut to 457 millimeters and we're going to glue those in place starting at the rear edge and I think you're going to need to do that because there's a little bit of a curve that we've got to go around so I'm just going to do that and then the next thing is we've also got some little triangular bits and when I get to that bit I'll show you but that's going to be the first thing is I'm just going to glue these two bits onto the fuselage sides making sure I've got a right and a left. Right I have got the ply plates going in and I'm just about to add this um, 5 mil stock. Little tip here because it's a very very slight curve you're going to have to follow around on the fuselage. It's not massive. Don't go mad but look if I just get the ends and do that and then rotate it in my hands you'll notice that you'll feel that one side like this curves a lot better easier for me to bend like that than if I rotate it like that one it's harder so if I can make sure that I get that now if I glue this aspect that's going to conform around the fuselage just a little bit easier okay so I've got my two sort of fuselage there's a fuselage longer one at the bottom and then this plate at the top and I've done two and I've done a left and a right now then the other thing you're going to now need is this uh, triangular stock which comes in a little bag and what you need to do is you need to cut yourself two lengths and one for here so that's going to sit there like so in other words you need to cut one for here and then one to sit on the top like so. Just make sure that you get these nice and uh, at right angles because if you don't you'll find that your fuselage bottom or the top piece is not going to fit squarely. So that's the next thing you've got to cut yourself so there's two of these, two of these matched to the uh, fuselage size this little bit here and this little bit here. Right, so we've got our fuselage sides with the uh, triangles in. We've got our um, F3 with the magnet in. Uh, you're also looking for F4. Right, so you've got two of these to make up and you get two bits in each plate. And just make sure you get the orientation round of your uh, uh, locking nut, which um, I actually glued the two together first, sandwiched them together, let them go hard. And then I just whack that in with um, a hammer. So you've got those two. And the idea is, is that that is going to fit on there like that. Make sure, oh, hang on, see I've got the orientation wrong. Get that round there like so, in the right orientation. So you've got that one. And then you've also got um, this one here. And they fitted together. I've not had to do any sanding or adjusting to those. So that's how they are and now we're going to add these to the fuselage sides i'll show you okay and that's how they look remember you want the retaining nut underneath and that's how they're going to look um i tell you what i did do little tip just trial fit the former on both sides um you don't want to start adding your glue and then um finding you've got a little tight spot so have a good dry fit with these first then the next step is we're going to be dropping that onto there like so and then gluing these together and then just clamping them 
Um, I think what I will do is, is I think purely for, I might just use Alphatic on here, clamp them up and then just leave them just to, to go off. But that's how it all goes together, like so. Okay, so we've got our basic fuselage sides done. I'm very pleased with how that's gone. Um, you could, if you wanted to, just, um, and you've got it in place, you can squirt a load of um, Sino in if you want, but I've used uh, that super fatic laser cut glue stuff from Deluxe Models. Seems to work very well, goes off quite quickly. Uh, you know, I, I actually put mine on and then sort of rub it in and then just leave it 30 seconds. It goes slightly tacky, then what the other side on. Bosh. Um, I normally, I don't normally coat both sides. Um, I normally just find if I'm liberal with one side, that's enough. So the next thing is we're going to need, you're going to need an F5. And the idea of that is the F5 is going to sit in here, like so. So that's your F5. And then the next thing we're going to need, you're going to need your F2. And you're going to need your engine mount, which is um, this one here. And there is some suggestions about pre-drilling your screws and everything like that. So I don't actually have my motor yet for this, but I am going to uh, fit mine because I don't think it's going to be an issue for me to actually add stuff down in there anyway. So that's the next step. Little note, F2, it says do not glue at that time. It's just to get your uh, F1 in place. Oh, sorry about the noise, it's uh, raining. It's not like we haven't had any rain in the UK in the last three weeks, but I shall be using um, a kayak to go back to my house. <laughs> and we're back in the room, back from Macedonia. <laughs> right, so, uh, sorry for the slight delay. So here we carry on. <laughs> Um, right, so I've got the fuselage pinned together. Now, there's a caveat to this. Um, in the instructions, it says the F2, when you pinch it together, just use it for guidance. I've read through the rest of the instructions and I cannot see anywhere where it says to glue the F2 because the next thing we're gonna be gluing is this uh, hardwood, basswood um, fuselage bottom. Which is going on to here, and there is, I say there is no mention, so I've put mine in. So that's the next thing is I'm going to glue this on, and then while this is gluing on, I'm then going to get all the bits for the back and for the top to fit on here as well. So I'm just going to glue this in place, and then um, I'll get back to you when I've got that. And then the next bit we're going to need, uh, we're going to need the boom. And various uh, there's some about four or five sections here that get glued together and we're temporarily just fitting the boom to get it all squared up so anyway I'm gonna crack on right got <laughs> got clamps got to use them um, I've got the fuselage bottom is gluing now I use to hold it in place laser cut glue and then I like that I'll, actually a little tip there I normally leave mine about 30 seconds before I put the actual two parts together. It just goes slightly tacky. Uh, that's all clamped together. Now it's all clamped together. I've actually run some very thin Sino just down the on those little edge of that strip there, all the way inside and tacked. I am gonna go, as I suggest, using some medium to really thicken it up. Now, that's just curing. The next thing you're gonna need is gonna be your, is this is T2, it's a hardwood and T1, and the idea is, is it's slightly staggered, so I'm guessing that this is gonna need sanding, so they're gonna end up getting glued on like so. So that's going on to this section just here. I will show you this in a moment. But bearing in mind, this is gonna need sanding. So um, if you're gonna use Sino, obviously make sure that you don't do the uh, Sino to the edges. So if you are gonna use Sino, if you just run down there, that edge there, that leaves you a mark. That gives you a glow guide to how far you can go out with your glue. So if you want to use your medium glue, you can do, but then that's not going to affect your sanding. So uh, these are then going to go on. Then the next thing you're going to need is four of these. 
and the idea is that these are going to get sandwiched together and we're going to temporarily add these onto the boom and then fit the boom but I'm just going to talk you through that process in a moment. Now then, <clears throat> adding the what is the boom fairing I think would be the fairest thing to say is these go on here like so all four of these. Now one thing I would say before we start if you look at your um, fuselage and it looks like this but then you're looking at the um, drawings on the fuselage plans as they are now. Well, the fuselage drawing, let me show you. That looks radically different. There's a big, massive gap. And, I, oh, hang on. and I'll tell you why. Is because there has been a revision on the fuselage side so um, I don't know whether that's going to get filled in I am going to speak to um, performance models but I'm just going to carry on anyway because I know I've got the new fuselage sides or it's the fuselage formers have changed so they go on there like so and the idea is that slides into the fuselage let me show you this slides into the fuselage like so. Now it's quite a tight fit at the moment, like so. And the idea is, I want to try and keep it as tight as fit. It appears to go through by about 20 mil at the moment. So the idea is that's going to pop on there like that. And the idea is we then glue these into place without gluing the boom. So what I'm going to suggest we do is I'm going to use our fatic resin. I'm going to get these in place. I'm just going to check for the alignment and everything like that to make sure it looks, I mean, it looks pretty square, but we will be able to take a little bit out anyway. Sorry. It looks fairly square to me. Um, without having something on it but let's have a look sorry oh, sorry right um looking at that it looks fairly square so what i intend to do i'm going to use alphatic just on the outside edges not close to where the hole is let me show you so basically i'm going to glue all this region here but avoid any glue spill round the round the hole because what we want to do is when we've got this glued in place these rings in place we want to be able to remove the uh, boom afterwards and bearing in mind if it is slightly out we can get a nice little file in there to adjust it so that's what we're doing next is I'm just going to jiggle these all in place and get these done like so. That's gluing very nicely. I've got to be honest with you, when I got it in place, um, I would just literally whipped the tiniest little bit of Sino just on those two edges, just to hold it in place. And now I've now got that going and that's the alphatic resin holding it. So the next thing you're going to need is you're going to need this strip of balsa here because all of these uh, one to eight need cutting out because this is going to be our canopy which they're all going to get sandwiched together. I shall crack on with that and I shall see you shortly. Right, these are your numbered, this is the canopy, one to eight and they obviously all go together like so. Now you'll notice that the, it, oh, excuse me, the inner four have a notch and the idea is that notch is going to get trimmed to fit inside here so one little tip that I've noticed if you stagger the put these all together like so uh, we are going to need some trimming but my suggestion is I would make sure that you get this bit nice and square so the way I'm going to do that is I am just going to put mine in there use the ruler like so and push everything up square because what we're going to do is if I know if that is square like so if I do that like that and that like that tap those all up there 
make sure they're all in one place. I'm going to laminate these two together, so they're all going to go together like so, so you know that that's going to engage. Now, um, it's a little bit hit and miss the other end, but I've noticed on mine that mine is a little bit long, so I'm going to have to... Don't trim this until you've got this fitting flush, but that's how I'm going to get mine. So it's sat square on the bench, and then I've got that set square, and I've pushed that up there like that, and made sure that all of these are touching at the end and then I'm going to use alphatic glue because we're going to be doing some sanding and um, I am then just going to sandwich these together clamp it and then leave it right <clears throat> basic fuselage is done um, I've got my magnet in the end um, I just trim those to suit as recommended in the instructions because uh, obviously you're not going into completely round, they do need trimming and uh, magnet fits beautifully. Now, um, there's only one other thing we need to do for the basic fuselage and you have these little collection of triangles and the idea is, is you sit the wing on here and then you infill this area as an aerodynamic wing sleeve. Now, at the moment, I haven't drilled the holes. So what I'd like to do is I'm gonna end this video now because I've got some gear to buy. I've got a motor, ESC, batteries, the whole shebang to buy for this. And as you can see, I've got a fair bit of sanding to do. And I've got the other half of the wing to finish. And uh, <laughs> so I'm just gonna crack on with that and then the next thing is going to be, it's quite a lengthy video, the next one to be honest with you, and I didn't want to make these too long. So the next one is adding the boom. The control uh, push rods go down inside the boom. We've got to make the boom uh, fit and also then we've got the support for the tailplane fixing the rudder and that takes some a little bit of thinking out and geometry to do so that's why I don't want to do you know like a, an hour and a half video it makes it easier for people to just to dip in and out of each video uh, it makes it easier to follow so that's the basic fuselage done not being funny across it's like a brick uh, very impressed with that that all went together well I'm sorry about the slight delay but there's been a change in the fuselage uh, formers and I had to wait for that and obviously I was away at the World Hang Gliding Championships in uh, Macedonia yeah silver medal so anyway thanks for watching and I'll get back to you very shortly